This is Twit. I need to start, of course, with my favorite keyboard, which is a software keyboard, and that is the Bitmoji keyboard. You use that an awful lot. I use it just enough, I think. <laughs> Bitmoji, of course, is, you know, I've created a cartoon of myself unless you've, if you no, don't follow me on Twitter, then uh, you might not have seen. I, I, current, I adjust my Bitmoji to the current fashions, my hairstyles. That's smart. And, I saw a Bitmoji on TV yesterday. I can't remember what show it was. Oh, oh, you know what I bet it was? Was what? it Barry? Yes, There's it was Barry. Barry. There was a Bitmoji in Barry. Thank you for I, reminding me. It was a Goran, great moment. the, uh, the uh, uh, Chechen... Gangster, actually, it was his sidekick, his henchman, the one without the eyebrows, yeah. made a bit moji of himself. And what did he, and it said something not good. I it can't was something remember. about like the, the, some hit that they it, were yeah, doing. Yeah, and it, it was, was pretty like, funny. Too bad. That was a bit moji, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. I thought it was. Yeah. So, wow. uh, like all uh, Russian gangsters, I too use the bit moji keyboard. You have to love them. They're so cute. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, here, uh, if I want to type something to you, um, I could use a, a, a GIF or a GIF or I could, here's, you know, here's just the keyboard right here. So you know how to adjust the keyboard. You press the little world. So I have my G board and then I um, have these, all these different keyboards. What happened to my a Bitmoji keyboard? Okay. So here it is. If I want to um, say uh, if I'm happy, which I often am. <laughs> Somebody's made a t-shirt. Out of the Barry Bitmoji. Oh, that was the Barry, yeah. Show yeah. the Barry Bitmoji. Yeah, this is on my screen, the Barry Bitmoji. <laughs> Gulp. I need that shirt. For sure. <laughs> um, well, let's see if I, I can do the gulp for me. Um, there is a gulp, right? That's yeah, a, that's a standard Bitmoji. Um, so here's my gulp. And then I can send that in text. or I, I can... get those from Megan all the time. And you love them, don't you? I love them. <laughs> I actually think Bitmojis are even better probably than uh, Memojis or Wemojis or whatever the hell they call them. Memojis? Memojis. Because I, I really think that they're fun and funny, but they don't, they're not, the problem with Apple's uh, emo, uh, what, are, what do they call them? Memojis. Memojis. But there's the Memoji, which is me, and then there's the other ones. The we oh, Animojis. Animojis. Is there really, they're, they're, they consume a lot of attention. They require you to listen and watch for seconds at a time. I just, you know, I don't really want to engage that much with a text stream. I just want to see it and move on. Right. Like, you don't want to have to listen to me talk. You listen to me talk enough. You don't. I don't listen to you talk, so as you well know. <laughs> that's true. But if I did, I would have had enough by now. No, no, I just feel like that's it's it, it, it's more it's like a attention seeking, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas a bitmoji just it says it, it gets the emotion out there, it does it. It's wonderful. Yeah, I think I think so too. Um, I yeah, I don't. I always love it when people send them to me. So I would hope that when people um, when I send them to people, they don't and they don't like them, they could let me know. Right. Um, it's no more than no. It doesn't take any more time than just it's yeah. It's based on your message. picture too, right? Or yeah, no? I mean you can make it whatever. you... No, it's not. You just you choose what you want it to oh, okay. look like. So you okay. can you know make your. I thought in Snapchat I, it could use a picture of me to start, but maybe maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe yeah. Sma Snapchat owns them. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I have I use I use Snapchat bit more, Jesus. Yeah. And once you have the keyboard, you can use it anywhere. Mm -hmm. In everything, in mm -hmm. your business correspondence, yes, everywhere. Yeah, Gmail, whatever. <laughs> like on your resume, if you happen to be looking for a job, then you know that. I, should, I, I guess I should show. We should show people how easy it is to change keyboards, right? Because yeah, uh, Apple. This was something that was relatively recently added to Apple. So and actually, this is a bad example because notice I'm using a physical keyboard. So mm -hmm. I'm going to detach this. Okay. Now the physical keyboard works. And uh, you see right down here, there's this key in the lower left. And for me, it's just showing an, um, an emoji mm -hmm. because for me, I don't have any third-party keyboards installed. So all I could do is switch back and forth between emojis and the Apple keyboard. But if you install third-party keyboards, and you can see here, by going to keyboard settings and look at the keyboards you have, you can add new keyboards. And that's where you could add, for instance, the Bitmoji keyboard. Having added that, now I can go back to reminders. Well, you might have to also give it full access. I'm I may. We'll it. see. Yeah, so we'll notice see. this has shifted from an emoji icon to a globe, which means now I can switch between emoji, bitmoji, and regular. So as you add keyboards, that will allow you to quickly mm -hmm. switch between keyboards. So I have, this is, this is me. 
Yeah. Um, let me see if I can find Gulp. I'm going to write you a little a little note. It says, you Goron to wants to see you. <laughs> Gulp. I did hear about the whatever. Now, That's it's con this is a pain. It should just type it, but yeah. you have to paste it in. And you might have to give it full access, too. Maybe I haven't haven't done that yet. Good morning. Love you. Hi. These are a few that you can and just... And you could search for anything. I, yeah. I searched for gulp. These are... Oh, yeah. So it has a lot, doesn't it? It has so... It really has every emotion. And may, it often has more uh, bitmojis than for, like, maybe three it's or four. It's leg for... day. <laughs> Apparently, you cannot paste bitmojis into reminders, which is really would be nice to be able I to... I was able to post them into notes. That's interesting. Yeah. It would be nice to have a leg day bitmoji. Well, the... Anyway, that's just the brief... Uh, rundown of how you could add a, a keyboard. Right. You have to download it first. Once it's downloaded, it'll show up in the keyboard's settings. And then you can say add it. And then once it's added, you can switch using that little but button. But sometimes you do need to give it full access. So um, if you go to keyboards um, and then so like... Oh, I see what you're saying. You could do that in the key. To, yeah. yeah, give it full Yeah, so access. I had allowed oh, full access, so here. I don't know what's going on there. Because I'd used it before. What, you notice that I have a lot of keyboards. I don't always, I don't have them installed often. And I think that that's uh, because I don't, sometimes I just want the simple stuff. I don't mm -hmm. want to have all of, and sometimes they sh different ones show up and stuff. There's some really good ones mm -hmm. out there. I actually am a fan of the Google keyboard. They call it Gboard. Let's make sure I have, see, I didn't allow full access yet. Now allow it. And when you do that, by the way, Apple will gently remind you, Oh my God, you really don't want to do this. Full access allows the developer of this keyboard to transmit anything. Whoops, let's do it again. Anything you type, including things you've previously typed with this keyboard. This could include sensitive information like your credit card number or street address. That's okay. because But it is a good point that you should only install key, keyboards from people you trust. Right. You don't want someone, you know... <laughs> Yeah. Copying all your text. No, and I'll show you real quickly uh, how much I like why. I, one of the reasons, a couple of the reasons I like the Google keyboard. So we know we're in the Google keyboard now because we have a G. That's one of the features is your Google searches are in there, right? Um, how do I get out of that? I don't know. How do you get How do you get out of it? I guess I have to switch again and switch again. And, nope, nope. Uh, cancel maybe. There you go. It also does uh, the autocorrect thing, which is nice. So, and and here's a nice little extra button. You can search for emojis and gifs. This is a newest newer feature. So, if I wanted a a gulp gif of my very own that I could paste in, I could I could search for a gif. Notice I I alternate gif and gif so that people can't get mm -hmm. mad at me. And you can do that in iMessages now, but you can't do it on the keyboard wherever you are with the right. regular right. keyboard. So. Google Keyboard is just, it's a different one, but it's a nice one. I like the search built in. Uh, I think that's a nice feature. Um, but here's one of the reasons I don't use third-party keyboards that much is when you, uh, Apple will often switch back to the Apple Keyboard. If you're entering in a secure field, for instance, like a password, mm -hmm. it'll switch back to protect you. Mm -hmm. But but I find it confusing to not know which keyboard I'm in. So I, you noticed I stripped out all the third-party yeah. keyboards it for can, that reason. It can be annoying. I, I, I also uh, had to reinstall a lot of the ones that I had because... Um, to show you today. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But so if you really, like, if, if you're not writing a ton of text and you really just want to be fancy and you want to pay nine ninety nine a month... <laughs> a month? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> this one, I'm just trying it for three days and then I'm going to cancel it. But maybe I'll fall in love. Who knows? And decide that it's worth the same as what I pay for Netflix. This is called Fancy Key. Um, and you can use all of Look these different keyboards. Wow. There's uh, butterflies. Like, looks like there's water on your keyboard. World Cup. Let's add that World Cup. I'm going to download that one. So it's just a keyboard style. Yeah? Yes, exactly. So uh, enable Fancy Key Pro. Okay, tap and hold the, I don't, okay, so I think there might, this might be an iOS 12 bug, because I don't see the world unless it's, oh, there we go. Okay, so now I have this uh, World Cup keyboard that I can oh, share it to anyone. Oh, boy. And so, you're going to pay $10 a month for that? I don't think so. Well, not just so. this one. You have so many. Um, how Little often? Little soccer though? balls. How really? How often are you? Um. This is, I mean, how much could you type with little soccer balls bouncing all over the place? I think it's... Really oh, that is kind of cool, actually. <laughs> oh! Um, so... Yay! 
Um, so yeah, or I could create my own theme if I wanted. I can pick a background. Um, oh, I could put my own photo. Or I could. Put, I bet I could put a photo of you, Leo. Let's find a photo. Photo of, of you me Ooh. on my keyboard. There we go. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Um, got so many good photos. Well, I can't find a good photo of you, so I'll put a photo of Gilbert. And then there we go. Do I want, then I hit next. Look, and then I could type on my dog's face. <laughs> and little bubbles. Oh, pop that's up. cool. That's cool. The Gilbert keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> I want more of that. So try it for three days. Um, and you might find that it is something that you want to pay $9.99 a month for, or you might think that's insane. <laughs> I, I don't judge. I don't judge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is free for a few keyboards. Um, oh, okay. But then, yeah, you, you can, get some there keyboards. Is, there are free. some free, but but be very careful if you're, you know, all of a sudden saying like, okay, well, I'll try it. It's a three day trial, and then nine ninety nine a month. I uh, for years used SwiftKey on Android, and uh, SwiftKey was available uh, on uh, on um, iOS, still is, uh, but Microsoft bought them, and I'm not sure how long Microsoft's going to keep SwiftKey around. But uh, it's a it's a it's a nice keyboard. It has some nice uh, features. Will allow SwiftKey full access. One of the things that SwiftKey does is uh, it it uses it looks up in your. Let's send a message to a Miss Ms. Maroney. It so now I'm in the Google keyboard. This is one thing. It's hard to keep. This is the other reason I'm not crazy about Apple's solution. You got to Oh, there's SwiftKey. SwiftKey does have themes, by the way, and I'm in a dark theme right now. But it also looks. At your emails, if you if you let it, you could choose this or not. Uh, your text messages to help you do a better job of autocorrect. So it learns from what you've done and what you uh, what you're going to continue to do with the SwiftKey keyboard to become better at autocorrect. And I liked that a lot. It gave me a you know had a, and so that was a, that was a nice feature. It also has um, it has the swipe feature, which I don't think Apple still does this, do they? They don't. I think Gboard does it as well. Yeah, Gboard but, does um, it. Yeah, this I, a lot of people like. So instead of tapping, you you draw T H E best, and you see how fast you can go if you're just drawing. You're not typing. It's is really good with a thumb, by, right? Well, it depends. Yeah, if you're using it on an iPhone, absolutely. See, I got that one wrong. Um, sweeping close. And that's one thing is it's, is it's using heuristics to figure out what you're trying to say based on your movement. But notice, as you move, you're covering a lot of letters. So short words sometimes can be mistaken because mm -hmm. you've, you've drawn it over a lot of letters. Um, I like I like swiping. I think that's the easiest way to type. Yeah, you can do it in Gboard too. And like I like how you can just do it with your thumb. Um, this was originally called uh, or invented by a, a keyboard called Swipe. It's no longer around S W Y P E. There must it might, there might be limitations in the va in uh, in how much money you can make. That's Swift Key keyboard, and I I think that's uh, uh, my favorite keyboard in general. Microsoft has acquired them, but they still offer it. It's free now. It used to be paid. It has themes. It has a lot of nice features. If if I could replace the Apple keyboard permanently with one keyboard, it'd probably be this. That that's what you would choose yeah but because apple keeps switching back uh you know i i just stick with the app as you can see i stick with the apple keyboard mm -hmm. We're, i'm aware of all these but you know the other thing that is because i often use a, key, a physical keyboard mm -hmm. um i guess you could still you could still hit the i guess you could still do it it's just not as it's it, you know you can't swipe if you're using a physical keyboard you don't have all the themes and all that stuff so when you're using a physical keyboard as i am here I could switch between keyboards, you know, so I can use a Bitmoji keyboard now. But <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> you know, <laughs> if I'm using this keyboard, I don't know how, how to really do that. So keyboards are really for people who are typing on screen. Probably best for iPhone. Yeah. Maybe, yeah? The and Bitmoji not, keyboard is the one that I really use regularly. Because that's I interesting. Guess, so yeah. you leave that one in. I do because yeah. it's not going to, I'm not going to really type on it. It's not really a keyboard. It's just like, a, oh, you know what, I've. I need to I need to make this conversation a little more exciting. I'm going to add my Bitmoji. There. And I can't remember. Can you uh, replace the emoji keyboard with that? Like just uninstall the. I think the emoji keyboard's always there, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you 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 often you still need don't do away with 
emojis. You still oh, need I can, emojis. I can get too. rid of you can get rid of any keyboard. Oh, look at that. So let's just yeah, say I'm sure you could get rid let's of the just say you want to be really uh, cryptic. Get rid of them all. You have to have one. <laughs> okay. But it could just be the English keyboard, or and it could then just be the Bitmoji keyboard. Yeah, I, could, I wonder. Could that it be? That would be a good experiment if I could speak only if I could just use. Oh Bitmojis. dear. Now I've do done it. One woman used Bitmojis for three weeks. You <laughs> won't believe what happened Wait next. a minute. That's it. And if I hit the globe key, can I, I'll never get an, oh boy. <laughs> I am now permanently, I can't do anything unless I do it in Bitmoji. I don't even know. How do I search? Oh, I can't get a keyboard searching Bitmoji. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, so, I, but I can't, oh, but I can only do it for searches. Gulp. Now paste it. I wish we didn't have to do that. Yeah. Don't you? I know. That's an Apple Apple thing. I mean, yeah. if Apple owned it, probably you wouldn't have to, but since Snapchat owns it. Yeah.